This 17 page document is the state's response to Assistant Principal Daniel Snyder's motion to dismiss. This argues that his personal opinions don't matter here and he was required to report the allegations of sexual assault to the Department of Children and Families. Five Palm Beach Central High School employees remain in reassigned jobs after they were arrested, accused of failing to report a suspected case of sexual assault. The case dates back to an April 2021 incident between two 15-year-old Palm Beach Central students off campus. The arrest reports say the employees who are considered mandatory reporters were told of the sexual assault allegations made against the 15-year-old boy but did not report them to DCF as required by law. Assistant Principal Daniel Snyder's motion to dismiss, filed in August, said he did not report the allegations in part because he did not believe the suspect, his own son, committed a crime and he had text messages to back up his beliefs. He also argued he has a right to privacy and a right to protect his son. Of Snyder's claims, the state argues, quote, the defendant was presented with evidence of sexual abuse and did not report the matter to DCF. Facts presented in arguments made by the defendant may very well be appropriate for cross-examination and subsequent argument, but they cannot support dismissal of the charge. The state's arguments continue, quote, his personal thoughts and feelings about his son's actions have no place here, and while he may want to believe his son could never do such a thing, he was nevertheless presented with evidence that, at the very least, required DCF notification. Snyder's attorney tells us they are still reviewing this document and waiting on a response to their constitutional arguments. He says they do plan to file a reply showing why they believe they're still entitled to a dismissal. The judge is scheduled to hear arguments in this motion to dismiss at the end of the month. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.